we're back again. Yeah, we are going to start the 14th time. Plymouth pull the second leg. Never. Three nil down. Not happening. Away from home they'll be as well in the second leg. This is away from home. Wickham are winning three nil. It's unbelievable. Okay, let's have break conditions, Frank. Yeah. Keith needs one of them. At least definitely one of the next two. Probably this one. Someone stole the white ball. What a safety break. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> right up in there. I suppose, that, yeah, just a safety shot. What would you have, red or yellow? Shot by Heath. You could barely see the lines on the pitch. You can see it up that side. You should get them to play first to 15, because otherwise you're going to be able to turn out three in the morning. This could take out a long time. Yeah, considering we're, all, we're only in at 14th frame and the time's already 12 minutes past nine. Make that 13 minutes past. Past your bedtime, isn't it? Way too far past my bedtime. <laughs> Personally, I think he wins as well. He should do. He's in control of it. Got bottom right hand bag covered. Doesn't look too happy of it. He's even not played the greatest. He doesn't feel as if he played the greatest position or shot, or he just tried to cover the pocket. Even I ain't happy. It's not a bad shot. He's just covered the pocket there. The black's come safe, but it's good thinking. You know the one he was close to, that yellow there, that went in the yellow. Did it? Not a bad shot there. He just still has a couple of balls over this bottom left down pocket which don't really go anywhere. Skill shot somehow. Yes. You gotta calm down with your skill shots. He's trying to set one up.
running left hand side, top pocket off the red, move the black, running left. Champagne sound, I'm shot in. Straight down the top, left hand side, move the black. <laughs> used to your coaching Tony he's tried to get it uh, he's moved one of his balls but he's just safe on this bottom cushion now maybe he goes into the muff this one it's a good effort it's a good shot but don't I don't know still has this one on the bottom cushion and the other one that do not go anywhere double it can uh, to the plant Still, he'll do well for me. Is he playing the skill shot? It's got to be. Oh, you said it. <laughs> you said it early on in the frame. He's tried to and he's missed it. Chance for Heath to make it. <laughs> Eight six. I'm surprised he didn't stun it. I'm just trying to run the white ball through. At least hit the balls in the right line. I suppose playing that, you, even if you miss, you've got the, the other um, Kenny's reds just on this bottom cushion. He's pretty much perfect now. Yes, the mess <laughs> up. Still should not miss this black. There you go, eight six. See, that's I think Nine that's frame by who? Is that uh, just that's two in a row now? Starting to play better now. Had a little spell earlier on where I just maybe feeling the pressure a bit. Just starting to calm down a bit now, isn't he? Yeah, it's starting to settle in. I think he's now knows he's not too far behind and he's not putting as much pressure on himself as he was earlier. Good break, but he broke dry. It's got to be red, really, isn't it? It has to be. Uh -huh. You say it has to be. I think yellows ain't too bad. It's just a yeah, but you got more yellows. Kind of safe. -ish. It's the first pot on yellows that hard anyway, so he probably will take reds. Five says it takes reds. Take that. <laughs> Cheers for the fiver. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just played for this one in the bottom cushion. Should just be able to drop it in and go or just maybe get up for the other one into the right hand side pocket. Yeah, if he yeah, I just yeah, push the other one up of it. Oh, he's just covered the pocket. Tactical man, like it, Heath, like I think, it. I think the way he's playing though, he's not completely confident. Obviously, maybe just trying to pot these rather than just cover pockets. But I suppose whatever you want, whatever you want to do. Awkward queue, eh? Yeah. Even if you just go for the right-hand side one, just roll it, and if you miss... Just then cover the pocket. And that's what he's done. Great effort. I think he's just yeah, getting his ball out that safe here. He 
actually knows that he's in control, covered these two bottom pockets. <laughs> oh, he's, he's not really got it out. Right he's put it right into that pack. I suppose he's got the right one. He's got angles on enough balls to get him out. He's just pushed his red out. But... Yeah. Keith might have to play this one over the pocket here. I think he might be snookered on every other ball. He is snookered on every other ball. Back in the commentary box, AJ joined by Tony Sullivan. Hello. Hello. Hi. I think we've joined in quite a cagey frame. Yeah, it's uh, been going on a while. And uh, Heath's in charge here. He's got the reds over the pocket. He just asked about one touch in the cushion, so obviously he's just rolling down the table. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot, that one. So, uh, I haven't watched much of this age yet. What's the standard been like? Has it been quite good? It's been mixed. They've both had good moments and bad moments. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's fair to say Kenny had a bit of run early on, and Heath maybe got back, back into it a bit with a bit more run on his side. So, uh, Kenny started playing well at the start, and uh, just dipped a little bit. Mm -hmm. Long way to go there, of course. First at 21. It's going to be a long old night. Yeah, it could be a late night. Um, interesting game. Plays quite quick, uh, Kenny, doesn't he? I haven't seen much yeah. of him, but he, he gets down and hits him. Yeah. Which can but work both ways. You're playing first at 21. You don't want to get tired, but at the same time, you might miss a few. He's played a sensible shot there, got his hard one out of dodge, or tried to. Mm. And the black goes in the middle. Mm. Mm. Kenny might look for a snooker here, just try and roll into it. So he's tried, but didn't play great. No, he's actually left the one. Um, the red nearest the black to go on to the other two. Do you think he'll go for these? Yeah, the red nearest the black will plant onto the bottom one. A bit like that. Oh, it didn't go in though, but it's no harm done. Mr. Davey walked in, look. We're honoured. 
Yeah, maybe uh, he's brought his cue with him. Yeah, he's actually working tomorrow. He can't make the county match. Oh, right. Nor can Mike Piper as well, which is a shame. Two, yeah. two top players. Luke Johnson. Hmm. Nice shot there from Kenny. Skill shot. I tell you what, Tony. If he, if he can screw this straight back, he might be able to uh, put you know the middle pocket in the in the same middle pocket. It's just the black that's going to be a problem. In fact, to be honest, he can just drop it in and play and play the yellow that's next to the black in the bottom left. Yeah, he's still going to have a headache with the black. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's a lot easier on the screen, the black in the right middle, than it mm. than it is in reality. Mm. I'm right behind it. It's quite a difficult black. He could have actually left himself an angle there to move the black, but I don't know. I'm not sure the black goes bottom right though. He might actually just roll these two in and play the double black. Mm. To be honest. Well, to be honest, if he if he ends up where he's queuing there, he could top it through and top it through. Have the black in the opposite middle. Yeah. Place the play the white to the right hand side cushion. You'll have a choice of two. Yeah, he can't do that now. He's got the wrong mm. angle, so he'll have to roll it through and play for a double, or roll it all the way through and have a difficult one into the mid in the other middle. There you go. Now this, I'm right behind this, and this is not easy. It's a lot easier on the screen. He's played it well, though. That's a great He's shot. He's nailed it. That's a great shot. Yeah, he's That's nailed it. And that's 9-6. Mm -hmm. Now Heath, I think we'd be disappointed to lose that one because, to be honest, he was in complete control with that bottom bag covered there. Yeah, he was in control and he'd let it slip. So he'll have to pull his finger out for this uh, next frame. Yeah. 9-6 is, is getting to the stage where, you know, a three-frame lead, that's okay. If it's going to four or five, then uh, he's going to start worrying a bit. Hmm. Well, we said that with Dave Hood's match when it went yep. when Aaron went six clear. Yeah. <laughs> and Dave came back. <laughs> but w you're right, though. He's got to he's he's got he's got to win this one. It's a good break. Oh yeah, and you you, you want to be reds here all day long. There's reds, yeah. There's not a safe red here. I mean, you can yep. play the one down the rails, be brave. Yep, the one down the rail, just float it in. Exactly. Try and land somewhere near the, well, in fact, if you, if you drop in, get into the black, then it's game on, isn't it? I'm just going to play the one in the middle pocket, but I'm, I'm not sure if no, I can I'll hold it. No, I'll leave that there. Play the one down the rails and leave the white roughly where the roughly red where is, the so you've is, got yeah. a choice of two. Yeah. You can have the other one by the black into the left middle, or you can have the one into the same bag. Yeah. I wouldn't float this in. I'd play it confident. I'd play it. Okay. I'd just stun it in and send the white towards the black area. And he's decided to go for it again. Okay. Well, that's not the worst result ever. I see. That's a touch. It was risky. <laughs> it was risky, <laughs> but he's had a touch there. He can probably bring this straight back. Yeah, brings back. Just got to be careful you don't... Hit, always topping it through. Yeah, because the one in the middle goes. If you so don't mind. The yeah, one in the middle goes. And then if you just play for the other one in the middle as well, same bag. So you sort of stun this across mm. towards the sort of yellow spot and have the other one in the same bag. Yeah, a little bit short. And he's looking at this one. I'm right behind this. This is very tight. That is very tight into this left tight. corner. I think he's just okay. Mm, I'm not sure. Probably just okay, but... It's very close. Might as well drop the one in the middle. Yeah. Make doubly sure. The trouble this is if you... Can Go off the top cushion. Yeah. You can make sure he gives up a shot, though. Well, I'll tell he's you what. World. I don't want to be running around that angle, but he's come out smelling the roses there. That's yeah. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Now he can just stun this past the black and yep. have the other one in the corner. Just a little stun shot through the gap between the black. There we go. Whoa, he's whoa, over whoa, it whoa, there. Whoa. He's over it there and that's 
good night, Vienna. Dear, oh dear. You could be anywhere, but you could even be a little bit short and you'd still be on it. Oh dear, I'll tell you what, it's not easy to hit. Mm. Just before the middle pocket with a touch of right hand side, maybe. Yep. Well, as you say, the straight one cushion escape, um, the middle pocket's in the way. Yeah, you'd have to go before the middle and some right hand side. You'd probably hit it off the left hand pocket, but. Uh, yeah, there's not much value in that. At least if you go off the other side, you might fluke it. Or cover the pocket. It's going off too. Um, yeah, this, this is a real narrow channel. This is fraught with danger. And there we go. And that's two. And now Kenny can just bring his hard one out on the cushion. Oh, look, he's not taking much time. He should be playing the other one. He's got a hard ball on the cushion where he's standing, and he's taking that one. Well, that, that's ludicrous. He's bought himself some time, but, you know. I, I don't mind that, actually. He's, he's taken the bag and he's brought his hub off the cushion. Yeah, so. He's either a very quick thinker or, <laughs> or a bit fortunate. He's uh, hitting a world of pain here. Yeah, he absolutely has to hit this. To be fair, if he hits it, he's in a bit of trouble. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. Kenny hasn't got a One shot is now. quite fatal, but two shots would be really fatal. <laughs> I think he's looking at a two cushion escape double. two shots he's only got one ball anywhere near a cushion and that's the one that Heath just flicked off towards the end looks like he's going to drop that over the bottom pocket and then go to work it's objective one achieved he didn't want to kiss that but he does have the security of the red there He's hit that. He's hit that full, and because he's hit that full, he hasn't come back up the table. He plays a sensible shot there and just goes to the snooker. Heath looking at whether the red will go bottom right. Thinks it's close. He's taking a good hard look at it. calls a total. Oh, that's a great shot. Oh, I what a shot that it. is. It's outrageous. And that's the shot of the night so far. That's the shot of the night so far. Unbelievable. There you go. 
And now Kenny's thinking, why didn't he just go for the easy finish instead of tuck him up? He one over the pocket. So in a frame that Kenny was sure to win, he hasn't won. Uh, difference between 10-6 and 9-7 is a big one. And one good shot here to start off with. If you can get the plant in the middle pocket, the yellows, then they're all there. plants. Unfortunately though he's put a red in front of one of the yellows. Yeah so Heath had a chance for a clearance there Tony and uh, unfortunately he's just got a plant but he's put one of the reds bottom left hand pocket in front of one of his yellows if it wasn't for that he was looking nice for a clearance so he's got one hard ball now yeah I see that can he actually um, just screw into it now is this a bit thin I think he would have liked to have been a bit straighter on this one because he could have potted the one in the middle pocket and just dropped behind the black and potted it across the table Now then, now then, now then. Still do it now. If he just drops this in, as long as he just floats past the edge of the black, he can play it bottom right. Yeah, it goes in the bottom right. Is it too Actually, thin to, to float it in? To be honest, if you play it a bit harder, leave the white anywhere down sort of the left-hand side cushion, you can play it in the middle pocket. What about if you kiss the black? Yeah, yeah there's some cool. value in kissing the black. There you go. Problem with, problem with this is here. you've got to get a lot of action into this. Mm. Yeah, a confident shot here, a bit of screw and a bit of side. Come up mid table. Yeah, um, screw and side. Just got to avoid the enough in the uh, opposite middle. Yeah. But get some action into this. Well. Bit, bit of bottom right. Five o'clock. He's done oh, that well. well. He's done that very well. Ah, uh, it's a lovely shot. The problem with this is, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the shot here is to stun into the red mm. because any if you push the red anywhere apart from onto the black, <laughs> then you're home and nosed. Yeah. You can't drop it in. No. Stun onto Play the red. I think I'm still in between the, the red and the cushion. Oh, he's found the gap. He he could find the gap. I didn't realise the gap was on, but that's fantastic. Mm. And that should be 9-8. Like you say, any, any contact there. In fact, it would be even better if we had a little bit of contact. He would have mm. stopped it. But fair play, nice shot. Oh, my oh God. Oh, no, and he's missed it. Well, After you all can't. the hard work. Balls down cushions, never easy. <laughs> Ross Fedrick's in the building. He'd have never missed that, would you, Ross? <laughs> I think Kenny's thinking he's got nothing to lose here now. This is like a free free frame here. He put this one to bed. He's assumed he'd lost this one, so he's, a, he's got a free go. And to be honest, I've got things you can come down to a middle pocket double tone. <coughs> I think he's second favourite. I'll be honest, I don't think he'll clear up here. Mm. There's a few, a few issues. There's one on the bottom cushion, one on the side cushion, one in front of the black. I, I can't see him clearing up here. 
This one on the bottom cushion beyond the black spot's not easy either. He's going for the reducer. And he's left it. Obviously, it was tricky to leave a, a snicker because you didn't want to leave the up and down, did you? It's tight. He's having a look. A little bit of swerve. He's only got to hit it because a double kiss will knock it in. Nice little shot there with touch of side, touch of swerve. Yeah, shot from Heath there. Let's head he's got to hit it. Problem Kenny had there was he had to try and get right in behind it because he couldn't leave the up and down because that was pretty straightforward, the up and down. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't the best shot ever, but he's still in front there, AJ, that's the thing. Yep. It's gone off a lot closer though. I mean, from 9-6, obviously Heath would be happy with 9-8. So, where are we? We're 20 to 10. You're joining us from Riley's Ready. We've got Heath Messer, a West Berkshire player. And uh, Kenny's from Oxford, isn't he, AJ? Yep, that's right. Oxford area, so it's a little bit equidistant, I would say. Reading is yeah. equidistant from Newbury and Oxford. Probably Newbury, yeah. just a little bit closer. but yeah. Neutral venue here, don't you? Fairly neutral. Heath plays here a lot more though. He's uh, quite a familiar face on the Reading circuit, Reading league anyway. I think he plays with one of the Rollage teams, doesn't he, on a, on a Wednesday night? Yeah. So if you're watching on the stream on a Saturday night, uh, fair play to you because you should be out having fun <laughs> and uh, having a few drinks. We're having a few drinks and we're in the commentary box, but um, yeah, no, fair play to you. Maybe you're babysitting or the missus has gone out and uh, you know, you're left with the pool. And maybe you're in with the missus and watching TV and you're just having a sneaky view on the old phone or the laptop <laughs> or the uh, tablet. I know quite a few people do that. Then myself, to be honest. <laughs> exactly, yeah. The, the missus wants to watch a new crime drama <laughs> at nine o'clock, and you say, Some "Yeah, the fair play." TV and then you, the next minute, you've got the t you sat on the sofa with the tablet on, watching Paul, <laughs> paying no attention to her whatsoever, and she's uh, <laughs> got the arm. <laughs> yeah, he had a chance to split the red and black out two shots ago. Didn't quite get it. Gerva screwed it. Um, he could have screwed back into the red and black then from that last shot, but it was it, it was very tight. Um, he had to have pinched the pocket quite a lot. Yeah, he's keeping it a bit tight. The thing is, if he, he knows if he splits that red and yellow and black, then it's game on for yellows as well. But yeah. I'd go into it now. <clears throat> take the ball by the horns and go into it mm. now because this is a perfect angle but as I say if you don't get on it you know you're, you're going to throw the frame away but if you get it you're going to win so it's one of those isn't it yeah <clears throat> I think at 9-8 I'd, I'd try and go into it the only problem shot. is the red's not going to move too far, is it? At that angle, the white's going to go into the red. The red's not going to move too far. Just don't plumb the black in the middle pocket. That's exactly what I was saying. You see, the red was never going to move too far. And uh, it was going to give you a headache. He's had a result top right, though, because I think his red goes and the yellow doesn't. Yeah, that, 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 that is an absolutely massive result. You're right there, because the yellow doesn't go <coughs> right behind it. And the red still goes. So now he's just got to flick off this red, um, off this top cushion here. I'd go off the side cushion. 
just give him a little review. So, in fact, if he plays it well, he can almost leave it almost as though he's trying to snooker himself, leaving it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's all he could. That's all he could do, really. Um, has he actually tied that red up, though? <coughs> the red goes in the right goes middle. In, goes in the right middle. Look at this for a pot, though. Ooh, not quite. And I tell you what, that goes. I'm right behind that, and that goes. And I can tell you that the red goes in the right <coughs> middle. So there you go. So have you played the screw shot past the yellows? The thing with this is you need to I can pinch, tell you. you need to pinch a bit of the pocket so that the white goes wide. Didn't pinch enough, mm. but I tell you what though. Hey, I was about to say that red doesn't go in the. Not that it goes now anyway, but it wouldn't have gone bottom left. It would it have still goes in the right middle, yeah. but it's a hell of a thin cut. That's a thin one. You haven't got much on though, have you? No. There's also the double. I think the yellow's in the way of the double. Or is it? You're just getting down looking at it. I think on these tables, these supreme tables, I think the yellow could easily be in the way, but we'll soon find out. You're looking at the double bottom left? I can't quite tell where he's queuing. He was. Oh, it did go. That's superb. It's a good shot. However... It's got a big, big problem with this, though. Mm. This is not nice, and you can't... You can't do much with this. You have to pot it because yeah. the yellows are all over the pockets. Okay, so the yellow is definitely too close for a double. Treble, maybe? Okay. Well, he's tried the reducer, but... He's left it awkward. Mm. He's left it awkward. It's not the worst though. shot in the world. I think Kenny will just clip off this one on the left-hand side and try and go beyond those yellows. Oh, he's going for the pot. He's a good potter. Uh, he, he played that ball. He that with a bit of safety in mind as well. I knew if he'd missed it, he left him snooker as well. Yeah. That was a clever shot. Is he just going to drop this in the middle? Or would you play corner first? I'd play the easiest part if you fancy the one top right or middle. Leave yeah, the, the white one, on the top cushion. He goes in the middle. Make sure that white goes in the top cushion. And there we go. And now he's got the perfect angle just yeah. to move the other one out. Or, or screw behind it, play in the same pocket. No, just play the stun shot and move it out. Mm. Can go wrong though, you'll stun the shot. I think I'm just screwed behind you it. Can you can actually top it, top it through with top right and move it. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's going to move it. So, yeah, he's looking at it now. Just, just nudge it out. That's all you got to do. Just a little nudge, because you'll be on the other one. Oh, hello, what's he done here? He's played a reducer, oh, well, I can't believe that. He's got the easy finish, that's the most negative shot ever. I mean, I'll tell you what, if he goes and pots this now, he'd be wondering why he didn't go for the easy finish. Don't get easier finishes than that. Thief goes and pots this now, I mean, you know, he's going to be sick. Yeah, well, it happened two frames ago, didn't it? They got the snooker and potted it bottom right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, why would you not go for game there? There you go, and the, the yellow's gone safe-ish. But now you've got to, I mean, you've got to go for it now. <laughs> Not sure I'd have been taking that one on. That was that was virgin on the ludicrous. The only good news is, is he's left it twice across and off. He's obviously trying to leave it on the bottom cushion there, so... Yeah, the problem is, with this AJ, you could go twice across and in-off. Yep. The original in-off's not there, but the twice across is there. You could play a double straight, but I think I'm going for the cut. And there you go. Ooh, just avoided it. He's actually hit that on the thin side. It's, it's, that 
black's gone in off the right hand pocket yeah I think if he hits that middle of the pocket you know it's all day mm. he, he's, he's actually hit it too thin whether he played that or not I'm not sure but he's almost overcut it and it's held up for him yeah I don't think he'd play to overcut it I think he's making sure of the part but anyway it's 9 all. we'll be back in a minute So Kenny, after being 9-6 up, lost the last three frames, back to 9-all. Just saying, Tony, from not being 9-6 up, back to 9-all. Yeah, take that. See how Kenny um, handles that comeback. Mm. He seems fairly laid back. I mean, he... he, he to look at him, you, he looks as though he's like a Saturday night player, but he actually, um, yeah, he's, he's a little bit, he's a tiny bit careless in places, isn't he? There's no doubt he's got a lot of natural talent because he doesn't actually get down on the shot. He hasn't, um, he's not got the standard sort of orthodox cue action for a snooker player, say, but he, he does put a lot of balls and he, he obviously knows where the white's going, but for me, he just rushes it a little bit. Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. We also just tried to play that off the red to remove the remed so he could pop the black in the same pocket. Mm. Didn't quite get it. It's just obviously the way he plays. He just, yeah. you know, plays at a fast tempo. And so Heath, um, he's got a good chance here, to be honest. I can't quite see if the um, red goes in the middle. Yeah, it does. It goes off the yellow, does it? In which case, play the bottom one first. Play the bottom one now and then go for it. Yeah, in uh, fact, go for the, this is nice now. Yeah. The, the red is good direct, actually. It's obviously you need Yeah, to but you'd like to nudge the yeah. yellow down. You would, yeah. Just, just a little bit down the cushion. Yeah. But obviously, play the top one yeah. first now into the green bag. He's, He's looking at it now, but you, you've got to play the green bag first. That's it. Just make sure of it, though. Yeah, that's OK. And that's not a bad angle, actually. Just a mm. little bit of um, right-hand side, bottom right, and come back for the other one in the middle. Just nudge the yellow down the rails. I think he might come straight back. He's going to smash this, I think. All oh, right, OK. Well, I hope the black goes, then. He's looking at it. I don't Isn't think the black goes. Well, look in his face. I don't know. It's very, very close, that. Well, why did he not play off the yellow, then? It's a I massive mistake. I think he tried to, to be honest. Did he? He did go <sighs> direct. He, he obviously did go, did go direct, but he's obviously not played to do that. Well, the only good news is the plant goes. Um, after he's potted the one in the middle, he can go around the table and the plant goes. But the black's worrying me. I don't think the black goes in the middle. We're just, uh, we're just sending our runner around to have a look. <laughs> and we're just sending our, our runner around the table to have a look. And he's, oh, it's a little bit tight. He says a little bit, ooh, a little bit away. He doesn't know. He's not sure after all that. So Heath's got a tricky red into the um, yellow pocket, knowing that full well if he misses, he's in uh, trouble. But you know, no, no, it's not, it's not 19 or it's nowhere near that, and that should be 
game over. Play the one into the green bag. Yeah. Screw back a couple of feet. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow, he's lucky you can fine. see he's lucky you can see an edge. Yeah. Let's go around the table. Yeah, where's the white avoid, going? Avoid the red. White's what, going in the middle pocket. Close. It's fine. See, that is risky as fuck. <laughs> Excuse my language, but that friend. was very risky. Yeah. He hasn't been a frame for a while, so he's forgotten to the scoring. Mate, you're playing good. So, welcome to uh, Ustream, Saturday night, live pool from Reading. We've got Heath Messer, uh, Kenny Brewster from Oxford, Heath, West Berkshire player, Newbury, Thatcham area, but a well-known face in Reading, all-round nice guy, terrible pisser though, but nice guy. And uh, on Tony Sullivan, I'm commentating with AJ, my fellow teammate from the Red Lion. Could be a long night, but uh, Saturday night we're okay. We've got a few beers in, and uh, I'm surprisingly cheerful considering I've just dropped a 50 to Leroy after being 6 4 up. And five three up. I managed to get beat seven six and something else. I'm quite happy with that. Lee was a nice guy and very good player. But anyway, back to the back to the gaming question. break there Tony it's a bit of a safety break yeah they didn't split brilliant and uh, he's got to make sure he hits a cushion here by the way he's looking at going into these two yellows but um, the danger with this is he's actually splitting the reds up see so he, he's got the reducer and that's really opened up the game mm. Now, you see, to me, that, that is just too quick. Not much thought went into that one, AJ. Mm. He knew he was sitting on the edge of it and it was going in the middle. And now, do you think he's going to go into the red and black? Yeah. And was... yellow area, because they nearly plant, don't they? Mm. It's nearly a full ball plant. And you can play it in such a way that the the other red, uh, the other yellow goes towards the right corner. Mm. These two go towards the left corner, and this should be happy days. Yeah. And there we go. I can't believe he didn't actually. Yeah, I'd have gone into the red and the black then myself. Yeah, he should have gone into the red and the black. I can't tell if this yellow goes middle pocket or not. It's not actually ideal, is it? Does no. the red by the black go in the middle now? Can he drop it in the middle? I was, I was, I was suggesting, yeah. Pretty close. Yeah, 
talking to the mic. It's pretty close. Talking to the mic. Yeah, can't quite tell from here if the one next to the black actually goes in the middle left. Mm. Well, he's going for it, so it must go in the middle. Unless he's looking at some sort of double. He looked at the middle pocket again. Yeah, I think he's going to drop it in the middle. He's played that confidently. Yeah, the only thing with this plant is that uh, where's the white going? Because mm. the angle you need to play this plant, the white is staying roughly where the yellow is. Be interesting to see how his confidence is because earlier on in the match he was just chipping off these ones and going in behind them. Let's see if he does it again or if he I goes for I it. I don't mind the chip off behind it because it will free them up. And Won't leave him much. No. It, it, if he gets it right, of course. Yeah. The little chip off the first one and in behind the second one. No, he's looking at the plant, you see, and not sure where the white's going to go with this, but... The trouble the chip off is you, you, you've got to cover the one top of the table so you can't go too far through. Yeah. But you also want to cover the one on the left-hand cushion, so it's, it's, it's a small margin for error. The problem with this plant is that the first yellow could go up near the reds. Yeah. You know, it could go onto the side cushion or, or up towards the reds or somewhere. I think you've got to top it through slowly. Uh, He's played it really well, actually. Shot. He's played it really well. He can now that's drop this shot. in the middle. He was confident. Yeah. It's amazing what a few frames can, can do to someone. Mm. There should be 10 all. Just, just, just roll this in. Oh, my God. I don't believe that. How do you total yourself on there? That's unfortunate. That's the total I would suggest. It's not actually the end of the world if you come off the left-hand cushion and try and pot the red, uh, well, he, yellow. He, he played this shot. A couple of frames ago, didn't he? He got his fray shot. Mm. Cushion I, first. I don't know why he played it that hard, because you could have mm. dropped it in yeah, and you would have had this one into this bottom left and run around the angles for the other one. Can he see the side cushion enough to pot this? He yeah. should be able to. Yeah. You've got to do it. And if he's lucky, the white will come this way. Well, he's made sure the white, so we can't... He's, he's actually played that. Yeah, like he, that. he made sure so the white, so shot. we couldn't argue with that. With those sort of shots, you're thinking, well, if it goes in, it goes in, but make sure mm. the white comes this, this end. Of it. Can he play this one cushion first? Cushion first? Apologies. In or over, as they say. I think he wanted it just an inch further. I think he's still got it down the line. It is down the line, yeah. This would be a good shot. It would be a good finish. Test of queuing, as they say. It's not this one I'm worried about. It's the next one. Because the white's going to be very close to this side cushion if you actually do pot it. Mm. He, he might actually be better off rattling this, might he? But then, of course, the red's looking quite nice. Yeah, I think... You can't play these at pace on these tables. No. Yeah, now here's your actual test of queuing mm. now. You need to queue straight through this with bottom and hopefully yeah. land... Um, Very near the middle pocket. Yeah, between the middle pocket and the red, I would say. Ooh. Well, he certainly got into it, but he, he missed the pot, and that should be... I um, think he hit it way too hard. Look where the white's ended up. Yeah, to be honest, that should be 11-9. He's had a nice nudge there, the plant's nice on. Nice nudge. Just drop, can, the, drop the plant in. You, have you can split the pocket. other two. Oh, that is very, very bad. That is really bad. You could have gone into those two. You could have gone past them. If he's on this, he's very lucky. Well, he's got out of jail there for me. <laughs> this isn't easy because he's going to probably be knocking the one. Yeah, he's playing the uh, correct one there. It's still not easy. No. He's safe from the knowledge that yellow's a bit safe. You can just drop this in or over and. Mm, but he's played it too hard and totaled himself. There you go, you see. The only advantage is he can go in right behind this. Yeah. He didn't. That is so bad. I was about to say, the only trouble going behind it is, yeah, you can get a snooker, but 
I think it's probably more important to get it out in the open, where the yellow is. Well, Heath now has just got to get this in the open. Yeah, do you, do you chip off it around the table or do you go for the double? No, 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 I'd chip off it. Watch the white, though. This white's very close, this oh, white's very close, and no that's fouls. unbelievable. That was the only way that Heath was going to lose that frame. It was a bit, it was a bit careless. I would have chipped off it the other side of it. Mm. So the black doesn't go middle right. He's played that well, actually, to be fair. If that's where he's playing, he's played that well. Very well. Yeah, if he meant that, that's fair enough. Oh, dear. Now that is basically... Um, what he's done there is he's queued across it with side because he's he just trying to put a little bit of side on it. He's actually come out smelling of roses. Mm, what, that's a thin one. Yeah, but what you do now is you just roll into it. I played one of these against you a few weeks ago. You <laughs> just roll into it, and if he gets the up and down, mm -hmm. but, but not roll into it so you put it on the cushion. Roll into it so that the yellow bounces a couple of inches. Yeah. If he gets the up and down, he gets the up and down. You know, yeah, that's it. Now that's pretty good. If he gets the up and down, fair play to him. It's a good job the yellow's actually ended up where it is because without I think the yellow he, yeah, there, I think he, I think he knew that. Without the yellow there, he actually hit the hit the red. Mm. Well, hit the red. He's now the same just he's now just gone favourite for me. Well, he's I bet you number one, is it it? Yeah, well, this is good news for Heath because if he pots it, he'll definitely be on the black. Yeah. If he hits it gently, he'll be on it in the middle. But if you play it confidently and have it the black in the same bag. Would you have the black in the same bag? All day long. All day long. Confident stroke. Mm. Just top it through. Yes, Heath! Yeah, great shot. Needs to bounce off the cushion. It's not too bad, actually, because the in off's not there. Mm. You can. You can just drop this in. Again, the, the confidence shot. Yeah. Smash it in. Confidence. You don't need to smash it in. Just drop it in because the enough's not. The, the enough's not there. And there we go. Ten ten. Be back in a minute because I'm busting for a wee. <laughs> See you in a bit. Just then. Just had it confirmed. They are having a short break. It's a 10 minute break. Lou break, fag break. Um, and I believe that's in a couple of frames time. I need to get that confirmed, but they're having a short break in a little bit. Obviously it'd be nice for both players to get bragging rights at the break. If one player can establish a 12-10 lead, it would be very nice to have that lead. He's trying to take control of the frame by putting yellow over the pocket. However, he hasn't quite made it. And Kenny beats him to the pocket. Kenny's turn to not get the ball close enough to the pocket. And Heath should take the pocket. However, Heath has potted the ball. Turns to the commentary box and gives us a bit of a stare. That wasn't a great shot. I think I actually hit it really towards the pocket rather than heading towards the jaw. Mm. 
Now Kenny has chances to take that pocket back. And Heath popped that ball just about. Um, Heath can, of course, take the pocket back. Heath just confirmed that the yellow isn't actually touching a cushion. Good shot there from Kenny. Kenny's balls are out in the open apart from one, which I'm sure is about to change. And there we go. Kenny's played a good, good, good frame this time. He's not just gone for everything, he's promoted all his balls. Hard ball. Kenny's got now is the red on the right hand side cushion. He didn't want to do that. He's taking away his, his extra life. He's still in control. And if he can get the pot bottom left, he's in, in still. But let's say his extra life is gone. Hmm. Well, his two extra lives have just gone. Dave Hood in the building. This is still tricky for Heath because both Kenny's balls are in very potable positions. There's a big pocket bottom right for the yellow down the cushion. <coughs> Harley Hall joins me in the commentary box. Looking at the table, Harley, um, he's got these two top right. Oh, he's just tried to pop the red as well. Didn't quite make it. He's got a big pocket bottom right. If he can play the yellow down the line. Yeah. Uh, also, the black does not really go anywhere. Yeah. It's just going to be a tricky. You might have to play a double on that. Yeah. He has, he has one on the bottom cushion, but shouldn't be too difficult. But the only thing is, playing the one down the cushion, you miss it. I'm giving Kenny a yeah. decent chance. Yeah. Because he's got the same problem with the black, and that black's not going to be easy to put. I'm not sure I'm in favour of putting one over the pocket. Well, I suppose he's thinking the the yellow on the side cushion is an easy double. Yeah. You could just drop one over the pocket, I suppose. Play one across the bottom pocket, across the bottom cushion, sorry, and play a double. Oh, he's gone in off there. I think he was looking at trying to go on the table and free the black, but that was... Yeah, that was it was always on, but shot. maybe not. It wasn't very likely to happen. Maybe he didn't yeah. just look at it, but chance here for Kenny to go 11-10 up. Yeah, so I think he'll just chip off this, turn the white towards the red in the middle it's of the table. It's a bad shot. It's a good shot. Just don't want to snook yourself here, do you? Yeah, you should be all right, though. You can probably just drop it in, screw across the table, maybe on the second. Yeah. He's seeing problems at the moment. I think if he drops it in, I think you can stun across and play it between the red and 
between the yellow and the black on the right-hand side cushion. Yeah, but if he's not confident playing that, he could just stand all the way across, maybe. Oh, yeah. he snooked himself behind the black. Yeah. That really is quite poor. A bit harsh, really. <laughs> Bring out the swerves. He's hit the black. He had a big target there, to be fair. And now Heath. Options here, you can pop the red, you can pop the yellow down the cushion. Yeah. I'm just feeling confident, I think yellow down the cushion for me. I think yellow down the um yellow down the cushion, top it through the one on the bottom cushion. Yeah. As an alternative, you could um, put the white on the green spot and just chip off the one on the side cushion. So bring the yellow off the yeah. cushion. Bring the put the white on the green spot, hit the yellow half ball on the side cushion leaving yourself on the one across the bottom cushion yeah you then got two yellows in the open and you should be on the hub on the bottom cushion if Heath does win this I think this will be the first time he's been ahead since he was 1-0 really? up okay. earlier on he's played the shot I suggested he's played it okay he's not played it terribly just make sure this pot he's got to make sure the pot haven't you It's one of those times where he's got to be confident and just smash it in. And so he has. He played that very shot, confidently. That. The only shot, you know, he's just getting on the yeah. black, which isn't a bad. formality, but you'd think you'd get it. Yeah. I mean, people might want to drop this in, but it's dead straight screw back. I'm screwing this back to the top cushion. Yeah, you want that's oh, he came a bit too far. He, he sort of quit on that a little bit. I think but he might have to come up and down now. I don't know. I can't quite. He's on the far jaw. He's not, he's, he's shaking his head. The pockets, if you do, maybe he just the drops it in and plays it in the middle. Yeah, I mean he is. That yellow yeah, was right on the top cushion though. Yeah, I think I'd be coming off the side cushion. That's what he's looking at. It. That's what he's looking at. That's what he's playing. He's played it well as well. He's got One the pop. good pop now. Well, this isn't easy there. <laughs> He's starting to play a bit better. Yeah, a ten all. This is. Could you? But it's not best of twenty one rather than the first of twenty one. Yeah. Because it'd be ten all. This would be a tricky black. Should make it. And that's a nice black. That's a nice black. Good black. First time he's been ahead, I since think since one nil. Is it really the case? Well, wow. from nine six up, Ken is um, struggling a little bit the last few frames. Yeah, I think since that break they had after the thirteenth frame, I think he's come back feeling a lot better. Yeah. Heath breaking, 11 10 up. It's dry. Mm. So I think Harley, they're having a break soon. I think it's after the next frame, but I could be wrong. Oh. Just a quick 10 minute rest and refresh. Another of his balls nicely there. Yeah. Just that one he's next to is a bit tricky. Yeah, that's 
the hard one, I don't yeah. think. It may, maybe you can get on it in the left mid last week. Oh, he's playing the double, I think, now. Is he playing the... Does the double go? I don't think it does. It's actually a bit unlucky the way, way he developed that red too. The two on the right hand cushion is tricky, obviously. Doesn't look as if this goes, he was shaking his head. No. It must not have done. I think he's just tried to cover the pocket there, but he's not played at the yeah. greatest. I think it was half the angle he had. But I think he's got his yellow kind of in the way of his red, so yeah. it's made it a bit awkward for him. It's a good shot there. It's a nice shot there from Kenny. Played the reducer. Yeah, as Tony would say. <laughs> yeah, it's awkward. Go to that saying, he needs to hit this. Yeah. Misses this, and it's a great chance for Kenny to make it 11 on. Good hit. Good hit, but I think he can just cover this pocket. Yeah. That's what he's played. It's two shots. It's two shots. He just caught the, as he was calling the cue back, he uh, caught the red with his arm. He called the foul himself, which is always good to see. He had seen it though, but he, he did call the foul himself, so that was good to see. Here's a chance for Heath to get back into this frame. Absolutely. Just turn the management off and knock in the camera. Don't want any jiggling on our camera, do we, Harley? Nope. <laughs> oh, I think he's tried to get the pocket back there, but mm. it's not quite worked out. I think he's got away with it, though. That's touching ball. Yeah, I think it might be. Then he could just come off maybe two cushions and come in behind his yellows there. Or three. No. Maybe he could just come off four cushions, three cushions. <laughs> yeah. Come in behind. I think it's it it touching ball. Is that your shot, Harley? Oh, and he was close to it. It's not quite hit it hard enough, but. That's yeah, a nice shot from yeah, Kenny. Good shot. Taking he just the back there. The pocket back. Tap the table on the way around from, from Heath. I think he's just tried to play the sneaker there, but I yeah. think... Has he left? Yeah, he has left, left this one, there, yeah. but... Yeah, I think he's got the snooker that time. I mean, it's an easy hit off the back cushion there. He may have got the snooker, but he has left his two up the top a bit, mm. say. They're not the easiest now. I think 
sorry. What were you going to say, AJ? I was just going to say that um, it's handy for Kenny to have a ball at the top of the table because now Heath can't run away to the top of the table all the time. It's good at that, I think. Oh, I suppose he has left them over the pocket, but I think he might just be rolling to the coming off the back cushion and rolling to roll on the side cushion, maybe, or he's just rolling to them. It's just rolling to something. Yeah. I mean, a, a confident player, you could have actually played the three ball plant then, and yes, the yellow might run a bit towards the pocket, but you have the red on the side cushion yeah, to Yeah, I think he's just line. looking for maybe a chart, a bigger chance than that, maybe. Mm. Yeah. I think maybe he, he may play the two ball plant, but I don't think you're gaining much by playing it. Mm, I think Heath needs two shots here, really. Yeah, there's not, he's not got a great chance without getting two here. He's played at the table to try and get oh, two shots. And I think he's just tried to play, aim, um, yeah. set himself up for a snooker, but he's mm. missed it. I think he tried to leave himself on the top cushion so he could roll into the one over the pocket. It's not disastrous, though. I mean, he, he's actually playing off the side cushion to do, do what he was trying to do before, which is play the one nearest the pocket. Just makes it a bit harder. Yeah. He's played it well. He's played it well. So have to rather simple get out though. Oh, he, he didn't oh, we could hit. <laughs> but those two balls now at the top of the table. There's opportunities to get in behind those two now. Yeah. See, maybe now he could just try and get an angle on one of these. If he's mm. confident, he could just try and get an angle to go into them. But yeah. Depends. It's only th choices. Yeah. I think you need to pot this one and see where you are. I mean. Yeah. If you have an angle to go into it and you're feeling confident, play it, but, you know. It's easy from here, isn't it, Arnie? No. We've got the pot. He's quitting it a little bit, but I'll tell you what, if he plays that in the middle pocket, it might need a bit of a check, but he's got a decent angle to pot that, you know? Either, either middle... Oh, he's playing yeah. this one. Oh, that's unlucky. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty high shot to be honest. It's good effort, but not yeah. quite. He went for the snooker there. Good idea. Didn't quite work out for him. Now we'll see how Kenny's feeling. He's the most tempting Kenyan to go in for this three-ball plant. I think if you play the three-ball plant hard enough, you pot the red and the yellow will move somewhere in the pocket or away. Obviously a risky shot. If he's feeling really confident, play a three-ball plant. Yeah, that's just what I was saying, Harley. You've got, you've got to smack this. Obviously you can't play it soft, the yellow will stay there, but if you launch into it... Yeah. But then you're also relying a bit on luck playing it yeah. that way. Or oh, just pushed over the pocket a bit more. I suppose it's maybe a bit better for next go because if you play the plant now, the yellow should be it should be sending the yellow up the table a bit. Yeah. Oh, he's just tried to cover oh. it. I have to ask him if he played to hit his yellow full ball, but I mean that's. Heck of a shot. If he did play it. Yeah, he can't. I don't think he's left much unless he just slams into them now. Yeah. <laughs> You're relying a lot on luck doing that. Yeah. I 
And there we go. He's gone for the smash. He's done it. He's left. He's got. He's. It's not worked out terribly, but it's not worked out brilliant. Mm. He's got a long pot in the corner, and if he gets it, should be on the other one. Mm. This pot yellow sort of semi safe. It's a good shot. Wow. That is a good shot. He played one of them early in the early in the match. Heck of a shot. Again, if he can just top this through now. Top this through a foot or so. Yeah. Should be alright. I think he's focused more on the white ball there and just took his eye off the mm. pot and missed it. Yeah. So now Heath, if he's going to go for it, he can. He's, he's asking if it pulls off a cushion or not, which, which to me says he's not going for this. To me, it says he's playing the snooker. Yeah. There you go. Kenny doesn't mess around. <laughs> just come he? straight down to it. Kenny doesn't mess around. He's got an easy snooker again here. He can just chip off the left hand side if he, sorry, right hand side if he chooses to. Yeah. You'd expect, yeah, there you go. And I think this black is covering the plain ball one with cushion escape. He's hit it though. Off the low it. Quite a bit of but you'd be happy if you got this chance every frame. Yeah. You wouldn't expect Heath to miss me if he goes for it. You would. The only difficulty I can see is if he plays the two at the top of the table first, then the one over the pocket, it's going to be tricky to not snook yourself behind the black. So if he does drop this in and plays one over the pocket, it's got a bit of a, a, little bit of a fiddly shot. It's just position here on this shot. If he gets the right position, he wins the frame. Not bad. Yeah, it's a nice shot. It's a good shot. Just should be able to drop this in and roll on to the other one. Yeah. I think you need just a little tracer run inside to make sure you hit the black and miss the yellow. Yeah. You don't want to hit the yellow, of course. You just don't want to push this black towards the red, really. Oh, he's played it into the other corner. He's had a touch there. Yeah, I don't think he's played... I don't think he's meant to do yeah, that. Yeah, not in a million years, have we? So both balls in the same pocket for me here. Just top it through on yeah. the bottom cushion. A bit too much angle to drop it through. Perfect on the black. Yeah, it'll do nicely. He's hitting the ball well at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. So from 9 6 down. He's won. There you go. He's won six of the next seven frames from 9 6 down. Yeah. And there we go, that's 12 10. And yep. Yeah. I think they're going for a break yeah, now. They're going for a break now, so we'll be back in a few minutes, probably 10 minutes or so, when they are to. Cheers.